All right, so we got the history of Rockstar Games. Go to the video. Not content with just releasing some of the best rated and best selling games ever made, True. Rockstar Games has influenced and permeated pop culture like few before it. To celebrate its 25th anniversary, as bully, well as the unveiling bully. of the new Grand Theft Auto, here's a look at the history of Rockstar. Of Rockstar Games. I know before we begin, Rockstar has published and released way more games than you think, so in the interest of time, I'll be focusing on the big boys, which means I won't be calling out stuff like Austin Powers' Oh Behave for the Game Boy Color. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, but Bro, hey, I maybe Austin in a different Powers video. Like a long in the time. early 90s, two brothers, Dan and Sam Hauser, began working at BMG Entertainment in London, a multimedia group best known for its record label. As the company diversified, it launched an interactive division, and it wasn't long before the Housers transferred over, with Sam being head Ooh, of development. Oh, y'all see the necklace? Y'all see the Meanwhile neck? in Edinburgh, the you team the that DMA Design, best known for its work on Lemmings, was cooking up something that new. Snow on Race his neck. and Chase, a top-down game of cops and robbers, had been in the works for a few years, but the team was struggling. During playtesting, they determined that playing as the police simply wasn't fun, and the desire oh. to create a dynamic, reactive game world was causing nothing but headaches. The game changed over time. Instead of playing as the police, you now played as a lowly criminal, climbing the ladder to get bigger and better scores. As a Race and Chase was violent, irreverent, and it turned out to be exactly what the Housers were looking for. While BMG kept trying to cancel its release, the brothers signed the game and renamed it. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto was nice. released in the UK in 1997, and it immediately courted controversy for its violence and was even discussed in Parliament. While the game was a relative commercial success, you know BMG what? decided I to mean, shut down its interactive though, division, you, you do have which a game might dedicated have been the end of the story if Take-Two like Interactive, that, so. the burgeoning game publisher and distributor, hadn't picked up BMG's assets for a meager $9 million in March 1998. The Housers, Nine along with other what? BMG executives, Ballers. Terry Donovan, Gary Foreman, and Jamie King, moved over to New York, and the work began. Bo-bork. In December of that year, Rockstar Games was officially founded as Take-Two's high-end so publishing nice, label. In 1999, Rockstar released two expansions for GTA, made by the team at Alternative Reality Technologies, which was renamed to Rockstar Canada, in a basement oh. under a fruit shop. Okay. Take-Two bought DMA Design, yes, who sir. went on to release Grand Theft Auto II in October 1999. GTA 2 went on to become the first of many Rockstar titles to ship 1 million copies at launch. Can I be honest? I, the, only, the first uh, GTA I've ever played. On on this, the very eve of bro, the PlayStation see, bro, 2 launch. The PlayStation, PlayStation 2 launched in North everybody. America everybody in October so 2000, and Rockstar and was ready to ride together. the next gen wave, with Smuggler's Run and Midnight Club Street Racing ready bro, to Midnight go Club on launch amazing. day. While critical reception on both was mixed, both were successful in terms of I was about sales, to say, the, only, the first fans GTA I've ever played was GTA San Andreas. Breath, while Rockstar prepped its next hotly anticipated release. Bro, hey, GTA 3 was absolutely amazing. I just wanted to pause right there. I, I usually don't pause, but let me just say that. In October 2001, right Grand there. Theft Auto 3 launched Ooh, and it became the biggest PS2 game of all time. Well, that was until October 2002 when Vice City. City released. And then that became the biggest PS2 game of all time. Yeah. A feat it held until San Andreas yeah. released in October 2004. Yes, a record That's the first one, this is the first one I've ever played. Oh, shit. Here we, Here we go, go again. again. Rockstar was on fire in the early 2000s with smash hit it after was, smash bro. hit dominating the charts and our TVs. Its success meant that it was able to establish and acquire Bro, a stable <laughs> of studios GTA. worldwide. And alongside the GTA releases, Rockstar also published Max games like Pain. Max Payne and Max Payne Bro, 2, Max as Payne well was as amazing. sequels to Smuggler's Run and Midnight Club. But I in 2003, the company before. would hit headlines once again, this oh time for Stump its controversial out. new release, Manhunt. I never played Manhunt. Manhunt's levels of gore and violence earned it a mature rating, and it made tabloid and political fodder, leading it to even oh being God. banned in some countries. 2004 really? saw the release of the Western game Red Dead Revolver. Yes, the game sir. had originally been announced by Capcom and was in development at Angel Studios in San Diego. Its development was troubled, however, and oh, Capcom oh deemed God. Red Dead Revolver unplayable. Take-Two purchased Angel Studios in 2002, renamed it Rockstar San Diego, and revived the game. Also in 2004, Rockstar would dip its toes into the movie business, 
producing the movie Football Factory. They later produced other movies like The Introduction, an animated film that teed up the events of San Andreas, and a documentary called Sunday Driver. I In 2005, never PlayStation launched its PSP Boy, handheld, I had the and Rockstar girls supported the console with Midnight Club 3, I which became its class? biggest launch oh my title. God. Liberty City Stories would release a few months later and would take the crown as the highest selling PSP game of all time. But Rockstar also found itself in some trouble in 2005 when hackers discovered some residue code in San Andreas that unlocked a sex minigame. The scandal and boy did it become a scandal became known as Hot Coffee and the game was reclassified as adult only which severely limited where it could be sold. Rockstar recalled the game, removed the offending files, and re-released it. It wouldn't be the last time Rockstar's <laughs> titles would hit the headlines. A game based I on the 1979 movie, The Warriors, okay, also I launched a guy in 2005. That I, listen, I watched a guy on YouTube, his name is XChase Money. I watched him do like a, uh, like a uh, walkthrough of this. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like it. And Rockstar ended up being sued by actor Roger Hill for using his likeness in the game. In 2006, really? Bully, a game oh, about stop. a rebellious Boy, team who's sent to the illustrious Bullworth Academy, along with undertaking Bully typical classic. school activities like Bully is going a to class game, and making friends. Yeah, no, you're, you're literally among going around for beating allegedly up people, bro. glorifying bullying. Stealing stuff. And in like, some regions, on, you, it wasn't it, even it was called Bully. bully. For a it was renamed Canis Canem. Edit? What? Couldn't tell you what any of that means. 2007's Manhunt 2 was denied certification in the UK by the BBFC, classed as adult only in the US and outright banned in other countries. Rockstar really? censored the game in order to get it released. Oh, okay. Rockstar debuted Rage, its new next-gen game engine in 2006, not with a GTA release, but in Rockstar Games GTA Presents 4 come out Table in, uh, Tennis for the Xbox 360 and the Nintendo Wii. At E3 2007, Rockstar and PlayStation teased a new exclusive project, which ended up being revealed in 2009 as Agent, a Cold War stealth game. With nothing more than a logo and some short that. descriptors to go on, fans were excited for this new Rockstar North production, which ultimately never came yeah, as developers shifted onto GTA projects. Yeah. While Rockstar Honestly, renewed that, that, the that trademark for the title a couple of times, it was declared abandoned in 2018. In early 2008, EA Games put a bid to buy Take-Two Interactive with a $2 billion all-cash offer. However, Take-Two rejected the bid, and 2008 turned out to be quite the year for Rockstar. While mainline GTA releases had slowed, handheld ones billion? were still launching, like Vice City Stories said, and Liberty what? City Stories. More. Yeah. Oh GTA 4, In April 2008, classic. Grand Theft Auto 4 was released for the Xbox 360 yeah, and bro, PlayStation this set it off, 3. Bro. GTA 4 set it off. Let's go bowling. And some months hey, later, speaking of bowling, on PC, hey, it hey. was, of course, hey. a massive success. What's name? Michelle? And was supported hey, Michelle, by needy DLC expansions, The Lost and the Damned, and The Ballad of Gay Tony. Forget Rockstar you, Michelle. launched its social club, an online component where players to could add honest, friends, real. register their games, and more, alongside yeah, we forgot. GTA 4's we never forgot. console launch. Michelle. The spiritual successor to Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption, launched in 2010. Yes, sir. At the time, it was the most expensive game ever made, and it was an enormous success, selling over 23 bro, million copies, followed by bro. a big expansion. Undead Nightmare and frequent updates to its online mode. I never play, uh, it wasn't Red Dead, free from Undead controversy, however, with accusations of crunch culture stemming from an open letter from spouses of Rockstar employees. A year Wait, later, Rockstar and Team Bondi released L.A. Noir, L.A. Noir is starring a, Mad Men's oh, oh, Aaron Stan as Cole Phelps. It utilized cutting-edge performance capture technology to get across facial I performances, just called it Noor. so players could question suspects and determine their guilt which, like Red Dead Redemption before it, also underwent public scrutiny for crunch culture. Ali Noir was also Team Bondi's only game the studio had made. In 2012, Rockstar Studios released Max okay. Payne 3. I never Unlike played the Max previous Payne two Robinson games, 3 classics, was not developed bro. by Remedy Entertainment. Instead, it was Take made by Rockstar itself. In 2022, Remedy announced it was remaking Max Payne 1 and 2 with investment from Rockstar. But it was 2013 where Rockstar yes, would go stratospheric sir. with the release of Grand Theft Auto V. Featuring three protagonists that could be quickly swapped between this in the was, open hey, world, the huge of city time. of Los Santos to explore, and an online mode that would be supported for years this to come, it was a smash hit. 
It took three days for the game to earn one billion dollars. Yep. Yep. GTA Online was and is a juggernaut with heists, plenty of downloadable content, as well as story bro, missions like being released for Rockstar, over bro. the years. Like online, GTA Online After the launch of GTA money, 5, the BBC made a docudrama about the company called The Game Changers, starring Daniel Radcliffe as Sam Hauser and Bill Paxton as professional Rockstar hater Jack Thompson. It wasn't great, prompting Rockstar to tweet the greatest takedown of all time. Was Basil Brush busy? What exactly is this random made of bullocks? Oh yeah, they're British. The long-awaited follow-up to Red Dead Redemption Wait, finally launched out, in October 2018, and despite the show. glowing reviews and high sales figures, it also caught flack for further accusations of crunch. In May 2019, what? Rockstar launched its own game launcher alongside the game's multiplayer mode, Red Dead Online. After an extended break following the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 in early 2020, Take-Two announced that Dan Hauser would be leaving the company. Uh, yeah. He would eventually set up a new video game company, Absurd Ventures. Since the very beginning, Rockstar has championed music in its games, from yes, curating sir. iconic radio stations in Grand Theft Auto, partnering with bands like Health to do their soundtracks, including the Max Payne 3 soundtrack, and even in 1999, launching its own club night, Rockstar Loft. 2021 saw the launch of Where Circo Loco at? Records, a partnership between Circo Rockstar Loco. and Circo Loco, a global dance company. Also in 2021 saw the release of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, which was unfortunately anything but. The collection oh was God. developed Bro, by like Grove Baraka Street Games, who had previously been responsible for porting GTA games to mobile. The original versions <gasps> of the games were removed from online stores like Steam, and the new games were missing iconic music tracks and updates to the visuals were oh my well, goodness interesting to say the least following years of accusations of a frat boy workplace news broke in 2022 that rockstar had been working on changing its company culture in order to be a more progressive and compassionate workplace mm. and determined to improve working conditions for its employees in early 2022 following the frat reveal of a ps5 and xbox series update for gt5 rockstar finally confirmed that work on the next Grand Theft Auto was underway. But yes, in September sir. of that year, the company's internal systems were hacked and numerous clips from the game were leaked online. Yeah, the I company know. officially announced in November 2023 that the game would be fully unveiled the following month. So there we have it. Yes, the history of sir. the first 25 now, years of Rockstar. And now we have seen the trailer. Bro, Rockstar, bro, bro. I I'm gonna be honest, bro. Rockstar is like the Drake of the gaming industry, bro. I'm gonna be honest, but that's just me, right? People might come through and say, oh no, he he's like this person. No, 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 no. We're gonna go off of my comparison, okay? Your comparison doesn't matter. Other than that, <laughs> okay, that was me, my bad. Other than that, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, bro, Rockstar has been, bro, hell of a road, bro. And uh, I, I was glad to be a part of it, man. When GTA 5 first dropped back then, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God, when I tell you, bro, I went into, listen, listen, I, listen. This is back to where, bro, you couldn't even, like, if you were, like, a young kid, you couldn't have, you couldn't, you couldn't just go in there. You have to have, like, your, your, like, your parent, you know? So, I'll go up to the thing. I'm like, you know, you know I'm here. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to say nothing. You know I'm here. GTA. You know I'm here. I'm not here for nothing else. Not no Madden 13. Not no Max Payne. No, I'm here for GTA 5. You know I'm here. Just like everybody else is here for. Don't play. So, you know, the guy's like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> Real quick story. Real, listen, real quick story before I leave. The guy was like, oh, okay, 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 okay. He grabs the thing, right? Because it was like a whole stack of he, he He grabbed one off the top of him. He said, okay. He opens it up to make sure everything's nice. You know, you, listen, you know how GameStop employees are. They open up the thing to make sure everything's nice. Boop. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. Okay, boom. Lays it down. He calculates it. Okay, it was like it was like $60-something, dollars, right? And remind you, I had to slave away for this money. I, Bro, I had to. Bro. When I found out that the GTA 5 was dropping, bro, I, bro, I was do, I was um, mowing people's lawns. Yeah, bro, I was doing stuff around the house, bro. I, I was working overtime for that, bro. And so, you know, I worked hard for this money, right? So, you know, he, it's always 60, da 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 right? Give my mama the money. She uh, gives it, da-da-da-da, she covers the tax, cool. And he says, oh, okay, yeah, you know, it's, um, so while, while he <laughs> while he got the money in the <laughs> Why he got the money in the hand, he, yes, you know this game uh, contains murder, right? Murder, sex, 
uh, 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 strip clubs, all that, right? He, so while he's going down the line of like all the evil, like, you know, all the evil things that's going on in the game while he breaks down that, right? My mom looks at me. I look at her. I'm like, come on. You know I'm not going to do it. Come on. <laughs> like, I'm not. You know who I am. I'm not, I'm not even going to go near those things. I'm just complete missions and stuff, you know, even though the missions were me murdering people. I'm not going to. Come on. Right? And then, and then she walked. So I would never forget you. Did I GameStop employee? I understand it was your job to tell the parent that, you know, what goes on in the game or whatever. Da, 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 da. I understand it, bro. I, I, listen, I understand that was your, like your little script to tell, like, you know. I understand, bro. But at the end of the day, bro, you dead wrong because, bro, what if my mom wasn't cool, bro? What, 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 bro, what if I had one of those strict moms, bro? What if she was like, uh-uh, pick, pick, pick another game. Man, I, hey, you know what? Hey to, hey, to that employee, bro. You lucky, bro. Today, you you lucky, bro. I wish you well, but you're lucky, okay? Other than that, comment down below. What do you guys think about? Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think about the video? If you guys did like the video, make sure you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. I'm bro. If you're not subscribed, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna really get up, bro, and try to fight you for your subscription, bro. Other than that, see you guys later for the next one. I'm out.